Hey guys, welcome to Yang Yang Cooking. This video is a very special video because it's a part of the playlist Breakfast in Malaysia. If you are interested to know what the type of dishes that we usually have in Malaysia for breakfast and you'd like to recreate them at home, check out the link below in the description box. And for this video, we are going to prepare dal curry. Dal curry is made of dal which is really uh, like chickpeas, it has the same consistency and then uh, it is usually eaten with roti canai and roti chana is this flat crispy bread that we have show you in another video but for now we are going to prepare this curry and let's check out the ingredients so the main ingredient that we will need is of course dal now there are many different types of dal I'm using chana dal and then we need one brown onion slice tomato here I have brinjal and this is the Indian brinjal it's rounded some potatoes carrot a bit of ginger shallot garlic, a bit of turmeric powder, dried chilli, if you like it more spicy have more dried chillies, some curry leaves and also salt. So we are going to move on to prepare the curry, it's really simple, now let's check it out. In the pan heat up some oil and once you hover your palm over the pan you feel the heat and that's when we can add the onion slices. We're going to fry this at medium to high heat. Remember to not heat the oil up too hot or else we're going to burn the onions. And then the curry is going to be bitter. Once the onions are turning golden brown, quickly pick it up and then leave it aside. Now using the same oil, we are going to fry the shallots, garlic and also ginger. Once it's fragrant, we are going to add the tomatoes. Cook the tomatoes at low heat with the lid on. And then we're going to add a bit of uh, turmeric and also our vegetables. Now what I'm going to do with this aubergine is to cut it into small pieces. I'm going to remove the stem. If you cannot find Indian aubergine, it's okay, you can just use any aubergine that you can get. While waiting for the tomatoes to soften, I'm going to tell you what I did with this dal earlier on. So uh, what I did was to just wash it, give it a rinse and then also soak it overnight so that it softens and it uh, cooks easier. But if you do not have the time, what you can also do is to boil this dal until it softens and then you can add it to the curry as you cook into it. So for now, I'm just going to wait until the tomatoes soften. You're going to see that it's going to turn into like a paste. Then we are ready. The tomatoes are already soft and now we're going to add the turmeric powder. And then our vegetables. And then we can add our dal. For now, we're going to add a bit of water so that we're going to let it cook. Once you add water into the pot, and that's when you're going to increase the heat till the maximum until it boils. And once it starts boiling, just reduce the heat and let it simmer until the dough softens and then it will all clump up. You know, it gets a little bit mushy and that's when you know the curry is ready. But I'm going to show you how the consistency is going to look like so that you know when you make it yourself. So this pot of dal has been boiling for about over 30 minutes and uh, now it's all mushy and now remember the consistency that I was telling you about. Now this is how it looks like basically. When it gets to this kind of consistency, remember to stir the curry once in a while or else all the dal will settle down at the bottom of the pot and then it starts to burn. Now just to taste, we're going to add a bit of salt and right at the end of um, completing this dish, we are going to add the fried onions that we prepared right at the beginning of the video. Now this would really add a notch to the taste of the dal curry. This pot of dal is now ready and really nothing makes me happy if I can immediately have this with a bit of rice or also roti chanai. And if you want to have the full recipe for this dal curry, remember to check out the link in the description box below or also visit nyonyacooking.com and that is where you can take photos of recipes that you have tried and upload them on the website itself. But before I let you go, I definitely have to try this. Mm. On the point, delicious, slightly salty, a bit of uh, spiciness because of the dried chili and if you want to lessen the spiciness, 
just uh, reduce the dried chili otherwise this dal curry is actually not spicy at all i love it have it with a bit of rice and when you dip some bread or roti chanai into it it sort of sticks to the bread or roti chanai and then it captures it you know now remember to try this recipe and uh, till then subscribe to nyonya cooking if you haven't subscribed and i hope to see you again till then happy cooking